So guys, it's so crazy how I only realized now that Arius was sending shots to Kitino and pick you up. After becoming aware of this, I just thought it's important for me to do a breakdown video of the beef between Aries and Kid Tini cause a lot of people still don't know what was actually happening between the two till date during Kid Tini's come up. If there's one beef that had so much potential but didn't work out was the feud between Aries and Kid Tini. Just like many beefs in hip hop, Kid Tini was aiming for the spotlight when he targeted Aries as his rival in the game. Aries had explained it to be the record label owner's war. Both of these artists are icons in the making and had the potential to collaborate and create groundbreaking music. However, their rivalry escalated, leading to unfortunate consequences. Kid Tini's fall off marked tragic ends to what could have been a powerful alliance in the world of SA hip hop. So it all started off when Aries left Ambitious Entertainment after a financial squabble with the label back in May of 2017, leaving with a bad relationship between him and the label owner. So just because they had done what they had to do as a label to push Aries and they witnessed the strategy of a new artist going for a bigger one working with Nestle C and Aries, they thought it was a good idea for them to introduce a new rapper into their label with the lyrical capacity that would help fight against Aries. This was probably an agenda most label owners had at that time because they all wanted to take over the game. On the other hand, Kitsin was so eager to get into the industry. So he interested the eyes of Ambitious which led to him signing to the record label in the very same month that Aries had left. Nasty is on the up and up doing his thing, you know, getting his glory and then boom, Aries pulls up, gets signed to Ambitious Entertainment. You have the label owner with his own agendas, you know, of taking over the game because that's how every label owner you know, that's they mind. You guys are like, like puzzle Yo, piece, chess pieces. Need to be the one, you know? So, in order to be the one at the time, like, you know, regarding, like, artists in my age group, was for me to go at Nasty, you know? The same way Kittini so, came at you now. So, but then it became worse because it was the label owner's wall on his own, you know? Like, he became obsessed with trying to beat nasty let me put it that way you know so but in that way he just made him in that more way he just, he just screwed it all up and i had to stand for myself at the same time you know so that was basically the aim with kid Tini. shortly after joining ambitious he released two smash singles under the label one being new school bully which showcased his lyricism hey hey never break the line in the model so why i never go long Fuck spanning volume long on that very same song he came for Aries, dropping lines going on to say, Hey, tell them it's the new school bully. I could never tie with Reese like the dude screwed Cookie. Hold up Tyrese, who screwed Cookie? On baby boy, baby boy, if you ain't should, you should be. Cause I could turn this gift to a curse. Hey, tell them it's the new school bully. I can never tie with Reese like the dude screw Cookie. Hold up Tyrese, who screw Cookie? On baby boy, baby boy, if you ain't shook, you should be. Cause I could turn this gift to a curse. So he was basically declaring art to have begun with him being a dominant and an imposing force in the contemporary hip hop scene. On the second line with a clear mention of Reese's name, he had a very clever wordplay with an idea of him not being on the same level as Aries. Then the mention of Scroll Cookie likely alluded to a situation or decision that separated Reese and the label, reinforcing the notion that Kitsini is in the league of his own. The baby boy line appeared to reference the baby boy movie in which Tyrese played the main character as Jody. But we know Reese's other name is Baby Boy. So by referencing this film, Kitsini suggested that his lyrical skills are so formidable that they should make others, especially Aries, feel intimidated. So overall, Kitsini was just positioning himself as a force to be reckoned within the new school. Following that, Aries had dropped a video of himself back in 2014, freestyling to Drake's 6 pm in New York beat. I'm uncomparable, irreplaceable, this is Reese. This that nigga these haters ask about quietly Like is it him the young king some of us haters would like to be then Kitsini decided to use the very same beat on a freestyle in 2017, sending straight shots to Aries. Hey, peep the red dot on your chest. Hey, why you talking like you got on a vest? See, I ain't trying to contest, but you cast gas in your trespass. Forcing me to regulate all your steps. Imagine, three years later, I don't wanna lie, that was really a bad move. But despite Kitsini dissing Aries on that very same beat, Aries had explained that experience to have been nice, hearing Kitsini going off like that. So Aries left those lines flying over his head, as he was still preparing for a diss song that was probably gonna end Kitsini's career. So after that, Reese was featured on a record by Ricky Rick titled Pick You Up. 
he made sure to do the most out of it. The Praetorian Bond rapper came out with guns blazing as he made that a diss verse for Kitini. Metaphorically speaking, delivering an intense and an aggressive performance. He made sure to unleash a barrage of insults and disses, showcasing his lyrical abilities and determination to prevail in the feud. So the verse had went on to say, Man fuck it's out now, it's just hot now cause I ain't drop yet, what's coming next is really something else, name dropping on me for a little recognition but it didn't really help, tour started and I'm head hunted by promoters when even getting milled. Funny thing about this whole shit, making paradise was a living hell. I don't even have a clue about how the album did, but I know I'm doing well. Nigga black and white Chanel vents from across the ocean looking like a killer wave. Sheesh. With just the first 7 lines into the verse, Reese had already caused so much damage to Tini. So he was basically dismissing the music that was being played at the time, saying his then upcoming release would change the game. Reese again acknowledged that Kitsini has name dropped his name on a diss song for recognition, but it hasn't significantly contributed to his success or impact. Then he goes on to reflect on the hardships and challenges he went through while making the Paradise album. Then with the Vance lines, he was basically describing his style with reference to Chanel Vance, giving him a distinctive appearance reminiscent of a killer whale. Then the lyrics go on and on, but overall, he was just conveying a mix of self-assuredness, humility and a sense of accomplishment. He was expressing how unfazed he was by the trends that occurred then, focusing on his unique path and personal growth in the industry. With Aries addressing his dominance and dismissing any attempt by Kitini's subject to regain relevance, he made sure to kill Kitini's career with just that verse. I swear this response didn't only inflict damage to Kitini's reputation, but also hindered his ability to thrive in the competitive music industry. Sadly, that response led to Kitini's fall off which marked tragic ends to what could have been a powerful alliance in the world of SA hip-hop. But with Kitsini's endurance and hope in reviving his career, nine days after Ricky Rick dropped the track with Aries, he came back with another diss track titled Movie. On that song, he really came hard for Aries again. The diss song already came out but it didn't really have much impact as damage to Tini's reputation was already done. He owned to his actions of dissing Aries on an interview with Zikipani and what he said is, I don't have beef with Aries right now, it's just I'm a rapper and when I dropped that record, I dropped it as a rapper. I was doing what rappers do. Check it out. I don't have beef with Aries right now at all. Um, it's just I'm a rapper, you know what I mean? And when I dropped that record, I dropped it as a rapper. I was doing what rappers do, cause you know, as much as we love to ignore it, there's rules to this shit. You know what I mean? There's rules to it. If someone steps up and tries to challenge your your skill, I come I come from a, a time where that that don't fly. You know, you gotta stand up and you know kind of stick up for yourself. So it was pretty much clear that he wanted smoke with Aries just for the sake of his success. And the beef was, as explained by Aries, the record label owner's war with him. So Kitsin was just used as a catalyst in all this. Moving forward, as that beef had so much hype around it, people wanted to know what was really going on between these two artists. So Aries disclosed his relationship with Kitsin on an interview with Pell on BET. Check this out. I spoke about your track uh, for Nasty C that you kind of were coerced into making. Do you feel like Kid Teeny was coerced into doing the same thing? Exactly the same thing. So the, the same bullet like, came to. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I, feel, I personally feel like this is not Kid Teeny versus Aries. Mm. This is the record label owner versus Aries. Because number one, I know for sure he didn't expect me to leave that soon. You know? Mm. But when you're a person knowing you're doing bad, you probably most definitely have it in your mind like, damn, this guy might leave one day. Okay. But I, I know he didn't expect for me to leave that soon. Yeah. And just like that, that was the end of their beef. Aries just entertained the beef once and never again. He just chose to prioritize his own career and personal growth over continued engagement in the feud. Again, I believe Reese might have believed that he's not on the same level as Kid Cini. Cause he once explained to like competition but only if it's beneficial to the both of them. Not only one artist benefiting. First you look at if it's gonna benefit you as well. But if the boy doesn't got, like if they don't got weight on their name then nah. It ain't advisable, just ignore it and keep it moving. That's how I work. 
But if the name carries weight and we could go like tic tac toe, they might as well, bro. So since then, we have witnessed the fall off of Kitsini. He ended up having a controversy with the label over financial squabbles, needing his way out of the label. It was really heartbreaking to witness that cause he had so much potential. It was again alleged at some point that he was dealing with depression and a lot of mental anxieties. His fall off was really heartbreaking, leaving his fans filled up with bittersweet emotions as they remember the good times when he used to release good music, but hope for a resurgence of his talent and creativity. In my thoughts, I really wish he could make it back into the game with a new strategy of making it and rediscovering his artistic passion staying true to his own style and deliver music that resonates with both his core fan base and a new generation of listeners. So with that being said, would you guys be happy to see Kitini making it back into the game? How do you guys feel about his beef with Aries? Just let me know your thoughts and that in the comment section below. And that is the end of the video. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more. Peace out. Perfect, perfect, perfect.